What up, peeps? It's your girl, Dash. Come back here for all takes. Well, it's that time, you guys. It's horror short time, and this one is through Alter. It's titled Hit Plus Run. Now, with that title, I am truly intrigued. So, you know what? Let's go and jump into it. I'll say the rest of my thoughts at the end, you guys. collision suffered horrific third-degree burns over most of her body. Authorities have now confirmed that witnesses on the scene were able to provide a description of the driver of a purple 1967 Chevy Impala. Oh, Police asked boy. that you be on the lookout for. Oh, damn, bro. That was you? Still drinking. This just in, Catherine Mills, the young woman involved in last night's hit and run on Highway 76, has died. Mm. The driver responsible for the crash still has not been identified, and police are asking if you recognize this man, oh. contact them immediately. He was last seen speeding away from the crash in a purple 1967 Chevy Impala. Yeah, you can't have somebody. He really ain't looking for another damn drink. Oh, Dad, they know who you are, buddy. Oh, well. Isn't that right, Elton? Uh, 
You hit that poor girl and sent her in quite the spin, didn't you? How many beers deep were you? Ten? Twelve? More? And you still got behind the wheel. But that's pretty normal for you, isn't it? Just a few miles from the bar to the home? I mean, how could it hurt? Well, Elton, you're home now. Uh, and so is she. Uh, <laughs> you guys i really did enjoy this horror show and i'm gonna tell you i always love when the individual who does harm gets exactly what's coming to them and in this one it was served very nicely this as i put a hit plus wrong hit and run should have just phrased it the way it was i wasn't sure in what capacity this was but clearly guy went on drinking had quite a few beers hit the you know hit the girl went on but like they said, there was a couple of individuals that did see the vehicle. Eventually, we're probably able to mail probably some of the uh, the plate. But I like how as time went on, because at first I thought he was just looking at the news and it was just being you know discussed. You know, this hit and run. You know, if you have any information about the person with this vehicle, or whatever, if you can remember this you know car where it could be, you know just give any type of details that can help them figure out who the person is so they can bring them to justice. So all these little tidbits with this particular reporter. Unbeknownst to him, <laughs> the spirit of the girl just kind of lurking in the home. And eventually more and more certain things start happening that are just kind of, you know, out of you know place within the home. The fire, you know, alarm going off and just him freaking out because now he has to try to cover the vehicle, trying to cover up, you know, his crime and just ugh. like, yeah, I'm just, I was slowly just waiting for it to build up to him getting truly what he deserved. And I loved how in the end, the reporter, the team was just like, you know, you know what you did, you, just, you know, just having a little conversation with him. And he's like, yeah, you like the bar is straight up the street. And your home's right there. So, you know, I, I can get away with the drinking and all that and make it home in time, whatever. What, what could go wrong? A lot can go wrong. An innocent bystander can be hit. And then you, instead of doing the right thing, no, let me go ahead and just leave the, the body out in the street and keep on going, hoping nobody saw my vehicle enough to remember it. But you know, in the end, you see clearly that's not the case. They eventually showed up at his door, doorstep, but before that, she made her entrance known, and the freak out on him was so just so so good. But I will say this: I was not expecting what was going to happen. I really thought when I saw the burning from the home for whatever happened from, because I think she got the burns and all that probably from you know the impact of whatever happened. But to the point where I'm like, how you end up in the in the TV? I'm just like, okay, but. I don't care. That's it. That's where you have to go to pay, pay, you know, for what you've done. It is what it is. But yes, definitely creepy. Yeah, I really, truly enjoyed this one. So with that said, you guys comment below. Let me know what you think. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next horror short. You guys take care.